I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rap bees on our winter wears. Welcome to b I'm the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft segment. I think this is episode number 29. I think it's 29. But uh, yeah, sorry I've been delaying the Minecraft. Anyway, let's get it started right now. So um, yeah, I apologize for delaying the Minecraft stuff. I know you guys have been asking me countless times in my other videos and the comments section. Yo, Etika, play some Minecraft. Well, here you go, guys. I got some Minecraft ready, and I've been itching to play it for a while, too. It's just that I've been busy because I had some uh, photo shoots to do with my modeling agency the other day, so it kind of made it a little difficult to um, pretty much organize the Minecraft. But don't worry. Things are back in commission. So, um, anyways, let's get into the game. We're going to Etika Land, Play Selected World. Why do they have the delete button so close to the play button? Anyways, all right, this, so... Now we are going to play. Now, if I remember correctly, we were gathering wood, I believe. So, yeah, let's gather us some more. Yeah, so how have you guys been? I hope you've been quite well. Um, in terms of how I think you may be doing, Barack Obama apparently said that the economy is recovering, so um, maybe some of you guys are looking at better economic times. That's great if you are, you know. Hopefully I'll be among you guys soon enough. Right now, my economic status, not exactly the greatest. I know for a fact my credit is messed up because when I was like a teen in, um, no, excuse me, not a teen. When I, actually, yeah, a teen. When I was a teen in my first college, I spent like maybe $10 in overdraft on like some shirts, right? And I never paid it. So then it wound up getting my credit really, really messed up. I didn't pay it until like a year later and I had to pay like $300 and then I had to and then I had to cancel my account and all this other craziness. So as it is right now, I know for a fact my credit is jacked up. So, hey man, I mean, sure, I can't pay back any loans I have. I have some school loans I haven't paid back either. But hey, I ain't paying those back until I get the money. Ain't nothing I'm going to be able to do. And I'm not going to break my back at a, you know, at some little $8 an hour job making pennies working to, you know, fold some clothing all day just to pay back my loans. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pay back my loans and I'm in a position to be able to do so without stressing myself out economically. Now, those are some big words. Get on my level. Anyways, okay, now that I'm milking around a bit more. Oh, we already have plenty of wood. Well, then, you know what? You can never have too much wood. You always, This seems to be the one resource that you seem to have a lot of, but you run out of eventually. So, you know what? We're not going to mess around here. We're just going to make sure that we get all the wood possible. And, uh, yeah, so basically that's the status with me and my economic stuff. So yeah, you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm in a bad position right now, you know. But then again, I think a lot of people who are around my age group are. You know, right now I'm 23. And, um, you know, I can imagine that a lot of people around my age group, you know, a lot of guys, girls, whatever, are all facing a little bit of economic struggle, you know, especially considering that America is becoming the land of the rich, home of the wealthy, you know. <laughs> you saw what I did there. God bless America, you fucked hard. But, <laughs> but yeah, so um, the screen looks really dark, by the way. I hope I'm not too dark. Let me know if I was too dark in this video. Anyways, <laughs> because I'm black, of course. But uh, yeah, all right, I think we have enough wood for now. So you know what? Let's forget mining the wood for now. We're going to just put this back in our little space up there. And then we are going to commence... Oh, let me pick up those saplings too because we're going to need those to plant some trees later on once I mine this area dry. But okay then. So at this point now, we pretty much have our wood. But why were we gathering wood? Why were we gathering wood? I don't remember. Ugh. I need to make like notes so I know exactly what I was doing from the last episode. But you know what? I'm not going to store this wood. I'm just going to go upstairs for now and just sleep because I definitely don't want to encounter any monsters or the such or the like. Excuse me. So we'll be up here. Retarded squid. The block is still made out of ice. I don't know what the story is behind that block of ice, man. That thing has a story to tell, and I'm not one to listen for it, so whatever. Either way, 
at this point, I know for a fact that we need to gather food because right now we are pretty much out. Like if I look at the food stores that we have, we don't have anything, just an apple. And if we're going to go exploring that dungeon, we're going to need a lot more than an apple to, you know, munch on. So whatever the case may be, we are going to prepare our anuses. Okay, so wait, let me just turn this off. Okay, so now um, we're going to need more food. So we actually have a lot of wood. We have a lot of wood. Okay, you can hold on to that for now. Snowball, you're not useful at all. Oh, we're almost out of shovel stuff. Okay, let's make another shovel. Iron shovel? Who gives a fuck? Do, 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 do. Channel progress, man. Channel progress is crazy right now, man. The channel, we're getting like 100 subscribers a day. That is insane figures, man. I mean, that's the stuff that, like, when you start YouTube, you dream about, you know? Sure, some of you guys are huge YouTubers, most likely, and you're like, oh, you know, who gives a fuck about your, your 100 subscribers a day? I get, like, 2,000 a day. Well, good for you. Let me celebrate, okay? Please, can, 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 can a little guy celebrate? Can a little guy celebrate? Thank you. But yeah. Nah, I'm just messing around, though, you know? But it is kind of a nice feeling to know that people actually like watching this crap that I do. Me be bullshitting in Minecraft all my life. All right, then. So um, now we got to have to kill some piggies. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We were getting pigs to put in the farm. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, and I remember um, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments section that the pigs are going to be able to... In fact, let me just go and show you because you guys will be able to see better once I'm there physically. One of you guys in the comment section of the last video told me that this would not work at all because the pigs will be able to just jump out. So what I propose is putting a whole glass epicenter in it, but that's going to be really difficult to do because that's a lot of sand and a lot of glass that I got to bake. So I kind of messed up the design of this whole thing. Blech. But we will, uh, okay, what should we do? Should we just get the glass anyways? Oh, I love how I have a, a pot to brew my pigs in for later on. Um, all right, I should just fill this thing with cobblestone and get it over with. But you know what? I'm a fancy bitch. But I'm going to have to break that glass anyways once I um, expand this thing, once it gets too small. So you know what? Yeah, we're just going to put cobblestone around it. Fuck. You know what? Fuck it. I need to stop messing around. Okay. So cobblestone all around this farm. It's going to be depressing as hell not being able to see the outside of it, but hey, well, uh, who cares? Yeah, that was stupid. Okay. Let us go and proceed with the blocking. The blocking of... The blocking of the, uh, of the window that monsters and pigs will easily be able to shoot into. You know, that's another thing. <laughs> Shoot into. <laughs> that's what she said. But um, that's another thing, you know. I know skeletons, for a fact, are going to be able to easily just run in here and start firing arrows at me with no problem. And I do not want that. That's the shit I don't like. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to put this there anyways, you know. It was necessary either way. Oh, well. I really do want to have a vantage point of what's going on in here. But it's all good. I'll probably just make like a little ladder in the middle. So this way I can climb out. And then see what's going on outside of the farm. And I'm going to probably make an entryway to link the farm to the top of the house. The top of the mountain, I mean. Just so that it's easier for me to transfer into the farm from the mountain. And back and forth, vice versa, and so forth. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. And there we go. We're going to need some more cobblestone, though. Alright then, so let's plug this up here. Oh, we only have three blocks left. I think we have exactly that many blocks that I had accidentally put on the outside of the cobblestone and stuff. So, let's go and take a look. Okay, it was just two. Hmm, I do want to make it easier to get up there. So, you know what? I'm just going to mine some more cobblestone off of that mountaintop peak thing. Because that was the original plan, you remember? You know, the plan was originally to mine this whole thing down. So, you know what, I'm going to start doing that just to be able to get some extra cobblestone from up here so I can make it easier for us to build that farm down there. I really do want that farm to come out really nice, though, so that's why I'm putting so much effort into it. I want to make sure that thing comes out as the best farm in the fucking world. Like, pigs are going to be happy as hell. Like, oh my god, Etika, you're so awesome. They'd be like, thank you, piggy, thank you, I appreciate it. Now become my dinner. Like, what's dinner? Oh, don't worry, just get into that hot lava pit down there and you'll find out soon enough. It's funny, you can eat the food of the animals right in front of them and they don't know what the hell you're doing. 
Like, I'm eating your brother, most likely. Huh. Okay, then. So, um, we should have enough cobblestone to fill up the farm, but... Let's take it down one more level. Yeah, let's take it down one more level. Let's get the cobblestone. I want to clear this whole side of the mountain out. I really do want to clear this whole thing out. Make a big-ass ladder. As dangerous as that sounds, it'll be really epic once it's pulled off. But, I might just wait to do that until I have dynamite. Because dynamite will help with clearing out the blocks faster, I think. Even though it will be suicidal in many regards. But, okay, I think we have enough cobblestone here. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go to the farm and continue filling it up. We have plenty of cobblestone at this point, so all that cobblestone is being put to use somewhere where it is more needed. And uh, there we go. We have finished constructing the outside of our farm. So now, I like the snow on the ground too. It's a cool ambiance. But okay, now we are going to construct a few other things as well. We're going to put this crafting table down here. Yeah, we're going to put it down here. Actually, we're going to put it right there. And along with the crafting table, we are going to construct a couple of stoves. Stoves are always really important. I know that for a fact. So um, we're going to construct a couple of these. As many as we can. So, um, yeah. Four, four. Can I make five all around? No, I can't. Oh, well. Okay. That's good enough. All right. Four, four, furnace. four furnaces. Okay. I'm going to put these here. One, two, three, four. So we can actually cook the pigs while they're in the fucking farm. That's, that, that's beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. That is so messed up. How you... Damn. And the animals in this game are so cute. Oh, why did I make a chest? I don't need... Well, I might need it later on. So, um, okay, then that's fine. Whatever, fuck it. We'll take a chest. I, did, I don't know why I made a chest. I did not need a chest, and I, yet I made a chest. That makes no sense whatsoever. Well, might as well make two of them. So, now we have our two chests. We are going to just put these here. I want to make one big one. And booyah. Maybe we should make one more. Maybe we should make one more, because we're going to need these chests there to just be able to um, gather up the resources. So, you know what? Yeah. Let's make one more chest. That'll be a great move. Two more chests. Excuse me. Okay, and boom. Okay. And now we are going to put these in the... Um, I did not need to leave the menu at that time, did I? No, I did not. But whatever. It's all good. All right, and now we got two big treasure chests. Excellent. I'm already loving the direction of this goddamn playthrough. Uh, I'm already feeling good, guys. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling great. Let's get into it. At this point now, we are going to need some, uh, some doors for the front of the farm. So you know what? Let's get into it. Gonna need some doors. Oh, oh wait. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that, a door that was the size that I was trying to make it with the with the two blocks on top. That would not fit my tall ass. Like my high top would get cut off. Well, then again, more like my head. Okay, then. Door number one. And door number two. I la bamba. I la bamba. Okay. So, now, uh, this should be equal. I, I kind of have a bad tendency to, like, get really, really technical when it comes to the placement of stuff. But this should be good. Okay, so we're going to um, put this here. And we're going to put this here. And there we go. Excellent. We got ourselves We got ourselves a farm. Now we need to find ourselves some animals. Oh god, it's uneven. Alright, I can't I can't live with this. I have to I have to fix that. I cannot have an uneven farm. I'm sorry guys. It just is a bad thing for me to experience. It's it can't be uneven. No, that means I have to change the whole thing. Oh, Oh, all right, we're not changing the whole thing, man. Forget that. I don't have the time for that. You know what I got time for that? I'm just gonna have to deal with it being uneven. Or I can deal with it. Wait, is it uneven? No, I think it's okay. Oh, okay, it's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just clear out this. And I'm gonna put some, um, like a step up thing for it. Like some step up stairs, you know? So it can look cool. All right then. And uh, now I'm gonna put you down here. And then finally, we can start laying these down. 
again. I just failed really hard with one. Okay. And uh, boom. Now let's run up to the house and get some final cobblestone from the area that I'm digging out of. Because we're going to need some more to make this cobblestone slabs. So, yeah. And then after we get the slabs, then we'll end the episode. But we will continue in the next episode of finally manufacturing this farm. Even though I have no animals to put inside of it, nor do I have the means to even attract the animals inside of the farm in the first place. But, you know what? I have a bad tendency of acting before thinking. So, whatever. We're just going to go with it. Either way, it works out really well. Because soon enough, soon enough, every single pig in this area will be on my plate. But not before having a bunch of mating going on. Did you know that pigs are extremely intelligent and able to experience pleasure within their orgasms? In fact, pigs are very close to being self-aware animals. They have a very big brain for their body size. Did you know that? Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. You know for a fact, you didn't know that because that's the way that Islam was created. Islam was created because of the disgust that the people had for the pigs. Therefore, that's why pigs are considered sinful animals in many religions because people basically thought they were disgusting. Oh my God, they're rolling around in poop and shit. And they're rolling around in dirt. No, actually, no, they don't roll around in their own poop, okay? They just roll around in mud because the shit feels good, all right? You know, when it's really hot outside, you'd be surprised how well mud can cool you down. It has the same effect on the body as sweating does. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Score one, Etika, zero Muslims or Islams. I don't know. I don't mean to be offensive. I don't mean to be offensive at all. I'm just saying the truth. That's where it came from. I mean, when you think about it, the way that the ancient people on earth perceived certain things, you can't be surprised as to why so many people are wild and crazy about stuff now, you know? Why do you think women are considered so, like, evil in some religions, you know? Like, they, she bleeds every month without dying. Blood comes out of her. Back in the old days of the ancient humans, they didn't know what the hell that meant. Can you imagine what was going through their head when they saw that? They didn't know that, oh, female menstruation happens when you reach that cycle in, the, in your period where you need to let out the, the, the material upon which a fertilized egg would have been. They didn't know all that back in the ancient days. Those ancient humans seeing that were like, what the hell? Now, you see... You gotta understand, everything that's old comes from somewhere, you know what I mean? It comes from somewhere, it's not established. I mean, it's not, it's not established, it's emergent, you see? It's not something that's been there ever since the dawn of time. It's something that happened as, a, as an effect of something which was observed, you see? That's why it's emergent. It is the effect of something that was observed in human lifetime. But anyways, I'm rambling on too long. I've been playing this far too long, but you guys got an extra long episode today. I will talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a goddamn good one. It's nighttime. Wow. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network bringing you some more mean craft. Let's get into the episode right now. So, when we last left off, I had just broken my pickaxe upon digging some more cobblestone out to be able to use for the farm's resources. Because I want to make the farm have like a step-up ladder or a step-up area where I can just walk up and um, pretty much just uh, walk up and let animals in. Yeah, I know it's always a little bit more difficult to harvest animals when there's a lot of blocks for them to jump up and down onto. So, I want to make things as easy as possible in that regard. So that's why we are doing this little project here. I'm just collecting some more cobblestone to use in my project for this, and then we will continue. Whew. In the last episode, I was rambling on about human origins of certain things, and, you know, I talked about religion, and I apologize if I offended some people. You know, I didn't mean to deliver any kind of disrespect. You're allowed to believe what you want to believe. You're allowed to do what you want to do. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, if you would like. You know, just as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else. <laughs> but you can't exactly say religion hasn't done, but okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let me just stop while I'm ahead right now. Um, yeah, so, anyways, back to Minecraft. <laughs> so, I've been digging through this thing for a little while now. And, you know, even though the project is going somewhat quickly... I can't help but feel like this whole digging thing is happening really, really slow. Okay, this will be the final layer. Final layer. Once I finish the layer that I'm digging right now, then we will go back down to the farm and continue this shit. 
remember, like I said, I want to make this great wall extend all the way down. So I'm willing to go to whatever means necessary to do so. That's why I'm going through this whole long process of breaking the blocks down. Oh, speaking of which, guys, I don't know if you watch Tobuscus, but Tobuscus, um, well, of course you probably watch Tobuscus. He's one of the biggest YouTubers out there making thousands upon thousands of dollars a month just from uploading video games of YouTube over YouTube. Yeah, the guy is, uh, he's hes close. I don't know if he's a millionaire now. He's probably a millionaire by now. But um, yeah, the guy's a legend, you know, and he makes such entertaining videos. Anyways, anyways. The guy's making a song based on Minecraft, which is called Mind the Diamond, and it is going to be a super heavy rock song that I am so excited to see that get played. Oh, man. Okay. And, yeah, the song's going to be like, It's about time that I mind the diamond. It's a damn spider, and he is spying. Why is he on top of my farm looking so mean? I guess I gotta go through the front door to get in. Oh shit, if I get killed by spiders, I will be so mad I will kill their fathers. Because this shit is not cool, it's Minecraft, but you cannot get inside of my ass, zombie. Fuck you, get- OH SHIT! <laughs> oh, okay, fuck you both. Why are they doing so much damage? I can't kill them, what the hell? They're not dying! Oh, I'm using my shovel, that's why. Okay, good, got him. <laughs> Things got hectic there for a second, but luckily everything turned out well. I gotta make sure to not hit that scroll wheel, because once I hit the scroll wheel, I start moving up, and the next thing you know, I'm hitting the monster with a snowball. So you know what? Um, and I have no more food. Oh, besides this little piece of pork chop, which is the final piece of pork chop. So let us enter my humble, humble abode. That Spider-Man, he jumped the shit out of me. <laughs> I didn't see him coming for shit. Like, he, he got the jump on my ass. He said, oh, this Attica dude, he's singing a song. Let me insert my spider penis into him. Because, obviously, he's not paying attention enough to see that I'm jumping down from the goddamn top of his damn farm to kill his ass. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Anyways, um, you know what? I want there to be more doors. So we're going to put some more doors in this bitch. Actually, should I? No, we shouldn't. This is enough. This is, this is totally fine. Okay. What we're going to do, though, is make all them cobblestone slaves. Slaves, yeah. Slaves. How do I make them? Um, like this? What the hell? How do I make a cobblestone slab? Like this? How do I make them? I don't know how to make them. How do I make a cobblestone slab? Did I close the door? No, 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 no. I don't play that game. You know, we're in the hood right now. It's nighttime. Oh, I don't play. Why is that skeleton right there? Is he gonna jump in? Oh, shit. No, no, no. Don't kill me, skeleton. Now I'm in a damn good situation. This is great. This is just great. Let me just... Well, at least he can't get in here. That's the good part, you know? I definitely made a good move blocking off that middle part because if i didn't by now that skeleton would have had my he would have had a uh, organ of mine for dinner i'm not going to say which because i'm trying to keep this pg but i already went over that plateau episodes ago yeah cursing on youtube that's always been a bit of a interesting topic for me oh, oh you can't see us like this good as long as we don't jump okay then great now we got to still figure out how to make cobblestone slabs how do I do it? I can't remember how to do it. How do I do it? Do I put this here and then... Oh wait! <laughs> it's about time that I make the slabs. Let me not do this because I'm not good at singing that to the bus kisses. Okay. <laughs> All right then. So um, I don't know why the hell I just made 60 of these when I'm only doing them in a radius, which is about 10 blocks. But you know what? You only live once. Unless you're Goku. But then again, that joke is overplayed, so I just made myself look like even more of a tool than I already have. Good job, Etika. That skeleton, man, he's scaring the crap out of me. I know he's waiting for my ass. Maybe I can, um, maybe I hit you with snowball? Hmm, maybe I hit you with snowball. You won't get hit. Oh, I hear him dying. You hear that? I think he's dead. Excellent. He's dead. Great. Let's go out there and collect his items while we still can. Oh, it's not rotten flesh. Great. Yeah, I want that, of course. 
Yeah, let's get that skeleton's items while we still can. You know, bone is great. No homo. Where is it? Where, where's the bone? <laughs> where's the bone? Oh god, I just set myself up with this, don't I? Um, where the hell is the skeleton's remains? I want to. I want his remains, man. I want to get. What the hell is that? Whoa, why is stuff falling? What the hell? Okay, Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft. Okay, then. You know what? Sometimes I say... Sometimes I say, should I just ignore certain things? You know, I'm, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to ignore that. Oh, there we go. He didn't even drop his bone. You know, great. Thanks a lot, skeleton. You're so stingy. You won't even give us your bone. You must be horrible in the strip clubs. Hey, this guy won't give us his bone! Okay, uh, right? I just took things to a very, very ugly level. But let's hurry up and get finished with this farm. So we can get underground and start getting us some diamonds. So I can mine up some diamonds too, you know? Because we've been doing stuff besides that for far too long. Those last episodes of where we were in the dungeon though, oh man, I cannot lie. It was fun, but it was scary as hell because, like, I don't want to die. And you can just sense when monsters are about to fuck your shit, basically. So, yeah. Alright, let's put these slabs down. Can I, can I put them down here? Okay. Boom. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. We are ready. It's about time that I mine the slabs up. Your mother is a fat duck. No, she's not. She's a wonderful woman. Okay. Uh, let's do it. We're going to put this up on top of this. And boom. Now we can just walk straight in. I like that. That's going to make it a lot easier to mine these. Rather to gather these animals. Oh, look at that interesting structure there well okay we're gonna need to um at this point now the farm is pretty much finished we're done the farm is done finally so now we're basically going to need the item to gather pigs which i have no idea what it is let me eat this apple before i die because my health is not restoring even though it's supposed to because my hunger level is up what the hell but yeah, um, I know for a fact that we need carrots. Thanks to you guys telling me in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for the information. It helps a lot more than you think. But we're going to need carrots to get these pigs in this bitch. And yet, to be honest, I don't see any greenery besides grass around this whole thing. So this is kind of ugly. How do we get carrots? You know what? I'll worry about carrots later. Right now, I need food badly. So technically, I need to worry about carrots now. Because I need food now, not later. I gotta figure out a way to get carrots or wheat or something that these pigs like. Something, you know? What do pigs like in real life? Uh, um, bacon? Maybe I'll offer them some bacon. <laughs> That's fucked up, isn't it? Um, okay then, we got some sugar cane, which is very useful in its own regard. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do some mining outside of the crib, so we can finally get underground like we've been meaning to for the longest time now. It's taking us a really long time to do this. Where is carrot, though? I don't know where to get carrots from. And these pigs, they're just chilling at this point. We might, we might have to explore a little bit to get carrots. I think we might have to explore. Which sucks, but if it's necessary, then we're going to have to do it. Because I remember somebody telling me to get carrots, I have to go to like a village and get like the carrots from their stock. But if that's the case, then that basically means, oh, look at this place. This place is so messed up. But yeah, okay, never mind. But yeah, I, know, I remember somebody was telling me that I need to get carrots from somebody's village, but if I don't have a village nearby me, I'm going to have to find one. Even though it seems like there's plenty of pigs here, trust me, when I kill them all, they're going to get killed real quick, and there's not going to be any more left, and I do not want that happening. So you know what? Let me take some of this. Can, can this grow on grass? No, it can't. Shit. It can't grow on grass, huh? Can, can you grow on grass? No, sugarcane can't grow on grass. Where do, where's my house? It's back there. All right, you know what? I'm going to take the sugarcane here. I'm going to take the sugarcane here. I'm going to make me a map. I'm going to make me a map with the iron that I have and the sugarcane. So this way, I know exactly where I am all the time. And I can just go back to my house if I ever need to. I think I learned how to make a map really well beforehand. So I, I should be okay. Okay, then. so... We're going to go back to the crib, and we're going to make a little sugarcane farm to be able to build a map. Oh, what are you doing? 
Oh, cool. Well, I'll just leave you there. It's not like you're hurting anybody. And, uh, yeah. Basically, once we make this map, everything should be good because at least we'll finally have a way to, um, get back to our house if we ever need to. Because right now, I'm, the thing I'm most afraid about is going out to find carrots only to see that I don't know where the hell my house is and then I lose everything. And that's not going to be a favorable situation for me. So we are going to go about this the smart way, make us a little mapo, and then we will go from there on finding carrots and pigs and such. This looks very, very dangerous. I'm gonna cover this up because last thing I need to do is snap some shit up. You know, Minecraft, man, the, the, the terrain. Is this how the world looked before people started, like, you know, taking it over and building buildings everywhere? Because if this is how the world looked beforehand, then, you know, it was one hell of a messed up world. All right, now we will test the almighty theory upon if, if sugarcane can grow in, wow, squid are really stupid, huh? Anyways, we will test the theory now if sugarcane can grow in dirt. It can, as long as it's next to water. There we go, booyah. And since this seems to be the end of the winter climate, judging by all the ice that's here, then we can start building our farm here. Man, we got a whole lot of processes going on here. But um, thankfully, we can just build this down long, maybe? Ah, okay. Well, whatever. We can start building this here. Thankfully, making a farm isn't going to be as difficult because I do know how to make a farm, guys. It's basically just a matter of um, clearing out some space and putting dirt near water. And once that happens, then we can continue from that foot. Anyways, let's do it. Get us some sugar cane growing. And then next thing you know, we're going to have us a lot of paper and we'll be ready to build us a map. So, let's just build this out a little bit more. You know, more sugar, more problems. Okay. And um, we should be good. Let's go one more, just to be safe. Squid are dying left and right. Why are they so stupid for? No wonder why Sky hates them. Okay. And of course, I know Sky does Minecraft. He's one of my favorite Minecrafters ever. Even though I don't really watch Minecraft LPs now, but hey. I don't have a problem with Sky. He's a cool guy. Anyways, let's put us some sugar cane down. This way we'll have these resources ready for when we need to build our... Excuse me, not build. Um, when we need to um, create our map so we can find our way when we go to find the carrots for the pigs to be able to kill them to finally explore the dungeon safely while having a lot of food. Jesus Christ, man. Minecraft. If there's one thing about this game that like makes me laugh, it's the fact that it... Can, it it just it does a lot of shit. It does a lot of shit. Okay, we're gonna need to put some torches down. I think I think plants need torches. Yeah, I definitely think they need torches. So we're gonna have to put some torches down. Okay, no problem. And as long as these things are next to water, they should be okay, right? So yeah, okay. Let's put some torches down. This way, they'll be able to grow nice and strong for Daddy Desmond, who will then take you, create a map with you to find the carrots to find the bait for the pigs, which is the carrots, to have the pigs mate. Yes, I'm going to have you inside of there, and you're going to make me some babies, all right? All right? Don't worry, I'll pay you in bacon. Okay, so we're kind of done now. So let's get back to the crib. Oh, no, man, we got to build up and cook this. You know what? Forget it. We're just going to cook this in the farm. I need to start using it anyways, you know? I'm already paying rent, so might as well use it. <laughs> paying rent for a farm yeah that, that makes a lot of sense all right i can't even run anymore i'm so tired i can see this guy like, <gasps> man up man up me let me close the door behind me be polite last thing we want is some scary brain fucking monster to come through and kill me so we're going to play this the safe way you know mom always told me is protection the protection is the door and the glory is the meat the pork. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes, there we go. Cooked pork, let's eat it. And this way we will be able to keep up our resiliency to finally, finally get somewhere in this goddamn journey that we've been on ever since episode 26. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. But next episode, we are going to finally have some paper to be able to make a mapo 
to be able to find the carrots, to be able to lure the pigs, to be able to eat the meat, to be able to finally mine in the dungeon. We're not going to be done by the next episode, are we? What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft segment. It's really late night right now, so, but I felt like playing a little bit of Minecraft, so you guys will be embarking on this journey along with me. Now, I think this is going to be episode 31. Let's get into it right now. I still haven't downloaded 1.6 yet because, meh, I didn't feel like it. You know, I will eventually, though. It just looks like it's going to be one big process. And plus, somebody in the comment section of an earlier Minecraft video scared the shit out of me by saying that the monsters got stronger. So I'm going to take my time with this one. But anyways, let's start the game off. So, if I remember correctly last time, we had just finished our the outside of our farm. So now, priorities need to be settled. So, first thing we need to do, I'm guessing, is... Uh, Oh, let's go check on the... Yeah, we were supposed to have the farm to be able to um, have the... Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry if I feel a little groggy because... I'm sorry if I seem a little groggy because it's late night and I don't even know why I'm playing Minecraft. I should not be playing this game right now. I should be sleeping right now. But I'm not sleeping. Piggy, why am I not sleeping? What? Maybe do you have the answers? <laughs> oh, I know it has the answers, Piggy. Your goddamn flesh has the answers. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me everything. Oh, yes. I didn't get any answers from that, so that was one waste of time. And these things did not grow at all yet? Come on, dude, really? I don't want to say I have to wait, but I mean, you know, I guess I have to wait. So while we're killing time waiting for those things to grow, what we can do, I guess, is... Because um, remember, we need to make paper so we can uh, make a map. So this way... Oh, no, no. Actually, fuck that. We need to sleep because right now... <laughs> I'm not trying to mess with these monsters out here. That is not looking good for me. So no, no monsters. We're just going to go and sleep in the bed and then we will start this up tomorrow. In the game, that is. You guys got me right now for the next 10 to 12 minutes. Yeah, I don't want this episode to be too long. I'm really sleepy. I'm probably gonna go to sleep right after this episode is done. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Also, guys, like in terms of channel progress, holy crap. You all really, really like that uh, real life story that I told. I'm surprised. I didn't think that it would be that popular because, you know, to me, it's just real life stories. You know, it never really seemed all that outstanding to me, but you guys loved it. So, you know what? We're going to be doing a lot more of that from now on. Um, we don't really need bone. It's hard to look at all this stuff when it's like this late. I'm tired. But um, let me just open my eyes a little bit. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys like it, so I'll be doing a lot more of that in the future. I mean, hell, share it with your friends, you know? I mean, the more popular it gets, the more inclined I'll feel to do even more of it. So, you know, definitely spread it around a bit. All right, so we were getting paper to make a map to be able to go out and find carrots to be able to lure pigs into the farm to be able to have food so we can explore the dungeon underneath the house safely. What a process. I could just kill all the pigs around here, but you know, then I run out of food, so that wouldn't be good at all. Either way, uh, I think I had some pig cooking in the stove, so let's go and check the stove out, get some food out of there, and then we can. Uh, I do want to make a way to connect the farm and the um, the house up there, so I'm gonna link the farm and the house. Let's see, where is the food? There we go. Cooked pork chop. Now let's throw this in there for good measure. Excellent. All right, then. so now we need to construct this pathway to get to the mountain home really quickly. So let's do it. But yeah, I mean, you guys really like those real life stories, so I'm going to be doing more of those in the future, definitely. I didn't think the reaction would be that good for them at all. I'm surprised, to be honest with you. But hey, I guess you guys enjoy. Oh, fuck me. But I guess you, you guys enjoy those stories a lot, so, you know, that's a, that's a good feeling. I never really thought I was that great of a storyteller, but... Oh, that's my girlfriend. Mm, I love you, baby. But I have to play this mean craft for my friends. Okay, so, now we need to establish a pathway to get to that farm. So, you know what, we're going to be digging this dude through. Maybe kind of boring, but hey, it's necessary. 
for the sake of my farm, and for the sake of diamond, or as Tabuscus says, diamond. Yeah, I've been liking Tabuscus a lot lately. I don't really watch his Minecraft or his gaming videos that much anymore, but I like his creativity. The guy's cool. I like it. What's your favorite YouTuber right now? Besides me. You can't say me. That's a cheap answer. You can't say me. Well, who's your favorite YouTuber? Let me know in the comment section below. It can be anyone, you know? And, you know, I, speaking of which, I've seen some really... What the hell? Oh. I've seen some really weird stuff on YouTube the other day. Like, somebody commented on my videos, and, like, the, the person had, like, a picture of feet in their thumbnail, right? And so I'm like, okay. It looks so odd that I kind of just clicked through just to see what it was all about. And it turns out that the channel was dedicated to videos of a dude showing off his long ass fucking, showing off his long ass toenails, green toenails. And they were so long that he could put his toes on the ground and, oh my god. It was one of the most traumatizing things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, everyone's got their thing they're interested in. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't be interested in stuff like that. But, you know, I would think that stuff like that is a bit too too out there for YouTube, you know? But, oh, well, then again, I can't complain because, you know, you got the same amount of people, you know, shaking their asses on YouTube and, you know, showing their boobies on YouTube. Well, not explicitly, but, you know, intense. Well, subconsciously. Or is it? It's not subconsciously. There's a different word for it. But, yeah, you know, so... Even though I found that utterly disgusting, that's just my preference, and it's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all, you know? I even have a little kink here and there, but you know that, I mean, it's just the, the whole, the dude's toenails, man. Oh my god, I'll never get that image out of my head. It just scarred me. Like, you know when you've been scarred, like, you had that feeling deep in your asshole where you're like, well, maybe not your asshole, it's more like your stomach. It's close to your asshole, though, because your stomach and your asshole are kind of close, but... That feeling in your stomach when you're like, oh my god, what did I just look at? Yeah, that's the feeling I had when I saw this dude's YouTube videos. It was kind of crazy to look at, man. It was real crazy. Oh, man. And, he, and the thing that really was astonishing about it is that he had like a trillion people posting in the comment section talking about, oh, so sexy. One dude even said, oh, I busted a nut to this the other night. I'm like, oh my god. Damn, man, YouTube is even more dirty than some porn sites. And we finally dug our way through. All right, this is great. So, um, this should be good. Let's put one more, just to make sure that those monsters don't come out of nowhere and start trying to crawl into my farm. Where is my farm? Wow. Okay then. I think I overdid it by a little bit, but at least now I know this is where it is, so I can just strategically plan this thing. The pig is like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" I love how the animals in Minecraft seem to be all like, what? I love that. Okay, then. So, oh, whoop. a big fly just rolled right into my lap. And I don't care. I don't care, because I... Okay, here we go. Boom. So we're going to dig it down here now. If we go straight down, we should reach the place. Well, the tunnel, that is. And we should be getting it now. There we go. Okay, boom. So now we're going to go this way. I went way too far. I went really, really far. I didn't think that it... Eh, oh, well. Nothing wrong with that. I can just use that as a regular entryway. So, you know what? In fact, I am going to use that as an entryway as soon as I get to the farm. Like I said, I could just make a very elaborate house, but I don't want to make an elaborate house. Remember, I want to beat the game by getting to the Ender Dragon and such. So, I'd rather do this the... Um, I'd rather make things that are just quick and easy, and then after I beat the game, then we can focus on making like a fancy establishment. But before I beat the game, I'm going to be focusing mostly on utility and speed, which is something that I totally have been inefficient in for a very long time now. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a tunnel I crawled into. I, I dug into. Okay, then. Oh, well, I'll keep going funny it digs right through that tunnel where we got our shit fucked multiple times by those skeletons oh, man i still have horrible nightmares about that to this day <laughs> i'm just kidding i have no nightmares about minecraft although it definitely seems like nightmare fuel especially when you consider all the messed up stuff that's in this game minecraft has some really weird stuff about it man like it, it goes from like a peaceful world in the daytime to a world where crazy ass 
nether dimension monsters roam around looking to kill the player in any way possible. Like, what's the story of that, you know? That's one messed up world. Like, what in the world? Yeah. Anyways, I don't want to go too far, so let's try this. Oh. <laughs> How nice. How convenient. And, of course, we went right past the farm. So, we're going to uh, move up a little bit. And then, how about here? Here should be good. All right, let's try this. Um, let me try to dig up. All right, then. Okay, good thing I'm not claustrophobic. In fact, even though I'm really, really tall. Oh, we did it. We dug right into it. Very good. But wait, how are we supposed to now get up to the farm? This is going to be difficult. But manageable. Okay, well, at least we have somewhat of an entryway to an extent. This went way too far, though, so, you know, I'm just going to... I'm just going to block this off. We don't really need this. And um, put another torch there, just to make sure that nothing crazy happens. And we're good, for the most part. Anyways, this is a great place to end it, so I will be ending it now. Thanks once again, guys, for tuning in, and I will talk to you all later on. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, have yourself a damn good one.